Many people are worried about their health during this pandemic. And Julie Merrill is the director of GBMC Healthy Bones Program for Osteoporosis and Fracture Prevention. She joins us now to talk a little bit more about our overall health, specifically osteoporosis. Thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. I'm happy to be here and to announce the development of the new Healthy Bones Program within the orthopedics department at GBMC. Can you describe again exactly what osteoporosis is and isn't and why we should be concerned about it or it should be on our radar? Sure, yeah. Well, osteoporosis literally translates as porous bone and porous bone is fragile bone, which is more likely to break. And osteoporosis develops over many years. It's not painful until a fracture occurs. So mm. it's a silent disease that often goes uh, overlooked. And it's very common and often has devastating consequences. Uh, it's so common that half of women and a quarter of men will break a bone due to osteoporosis in their lifetime. So what are the risk factors that contribute to this condition? So uh, certain medications, certain medical conditions, aging, everyone loses bone mass with age, particularly women after the menopause because the body starts, uh, stops producing estrogen and that is a protective factor for bone health. So you see more rapid bone loss after menopause. Heredity, if a parent fractured a hip, you're more likely to fracture a hip. And also um, by ethnicity, if you're Caucasian or Asian, you're more likely to have osteoporosis than someone of a different race. And how is osteoporosis um, diagnosed and how is it then treated? So we do a detailed bone health history, a pretty brief physical exam, it's clothed. Uh, I order some specialized lab tests, uh, side-facing x-rays to look for spinal fractures because if they occur gradually, many people don't even feel them. Um, and then there's a special x-ray technique that many have heard of. It's a DEXA scan, that's a bone density scan that is safe painless, quick, you stay closed. It's covered by Medicare for people over age 65. And that gives us the best um, number for exactly what your bone density level is. And as far as treatment, if you do have low numbers or you have uh, many or even a few of the risk factors uh, that place you at high risk for fracturing, then there are FDA approved medications to improve bone density and reduce your fracture risk. And how do we prevent it just to begin with before it even comes on and or at least keep it from getting worse? Sure. Well, maintaining a healthy lifestyle is a number one and that involves um, weight bearing exercise. Everybody tells you to exercise because it's good for everything, but specific to bone health, you want to do things like walking, climbing stairs, dancing, gardening, tennis, anything where you're imposing force against your body because then it responds by laying down calcium and thickening the bones. So that is good. Pick the one you like best so you stay with it. And uh, bone healthy nutrients in your diet, the main ones being calcium, vitamin D, and protein. Calcium, everybody knows, is mainly from dairy, but you can also get it from other foods like dark leafy greens, collards, kale, uh, broccoli, chard, and also lentils, almonds. And if you want to drink your calcium, you can have orange juice or a lot of people drink milk alternatives like soy milk, almond milk, rice, milk, all of those things are often fortified with calcium and vitamin D. So you just have to look. So this and is all think, inclusive. Think about your diet and your exercise and don't skip weight day, of course. And as we wrap up, I want you to tell us just a little bit about the osteoporosis and fracture prevention support group and also where we can go to find more information on it. 
Sure. Well, this is very exciting. It's a relaxed and informal monthly online group that meets Thursday mornings at 11 a.m. for people living with or concerned about osteoporosis to create community, provide new information, share coping strategies. We're going to have a different speaker every month, different topic. So if you're interested in registering, and I hope you do, you just go to the gbmc.org website backslash healthy bones. And right. so you can register there. There. You can read more about our program. Thank you so much for being with us and for that amazing support group. I think it's going to help a lot of people. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.